When I was 49, I decided to use my 50th birthday to do 50 challenges in my 50th year. So for me, it was really different than a bucket list, where a bucket list is just something you do sometime, someplace, some whatever, the distant future before you croak. But this list um, had, it was different because I wanted to do 50 challenges within my 50th year. So there was a huge immediacy to it. So that almost met something every week, which was, you know, challenging. <laughs> so <laughs> which challenge. is the point, it right? But I, yes. Well, so that's a big thing too, just getting the challenges, right? So I have a pretty big comfort zone already. I've done lots of things, but I knew that if I came up, if I just sat down and wrote a list of 50 challenges, that it, it would still be within my conscious or subconscious comfort zone. So what I did is I reached out to Facebook, which solves all of my problems. <laughs> and <laughs> it really does actually. Um, and I asked friends and colleagues and people from different industries to give me a challenge or something to try. And so then I got this huge selection of, of ideas, which I also, because it was my list, I gave myself permission to negotiate. So I'll give you an example. Somebody challenged me, actually, you know, Gina Carr and Karen Jacobson challenged me to go 30 days vegan. And I thought, oh my gosh, like just from a completely, you know, kind of well, quote normal eating habits to go vegan for 30 days, I thought it would just seem like too much. So I said, I will go vegetarian for 50. It was like Jeopardy. Vegetarian for 50, Ravi. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's what I did. And at the, interestingly, at the, uh, or not, as I was going through the 50 days, oh, here's something else inter interesting, I think. Um, in the middle of this 50 days, we had a two-week, once-in-a-lifetime trip to Italy. Now, I'm Italian. Oh, my and God. I know. As a vegetarian. I, uh, well, oh. So, and as it, I'm Italian, so right, so I grew up on all these beautiful Italian cured meats. Like that is the one thing that. Oh. So I, I, I gave myself permission to make a negotiate. Right, I said I'm gonna, within this 50 days, I'm gonna take my two weeks in Italy and do eat what I want, but I'll add two weeks on to the end. So this is I was negotiating through everything. Interestingly, when I got to Italy, I just had no desire at all for the meat, at all. And what I realized was ever since I was a child, I wanted, I actually wanted to be a vegetarian. I had thought about it many, many times. My parents had said no when I got a little bit older, you know, I, then I just got lazy. I didn't know how to do it. And I had kids and it just never happened. And so I, I remembered actually that, that that was something that was really a part of, of what I wanted for a long, long time. I went through my 50 days without meat, two weeks in Italy without anything um, cured and I'm still a vegetarian, so it's it's real, and many things kind of have happened like that as a result of of the challenges that went far beyond my fiftieth year.